This video will go over how to take water quality parameters in a hydroponic system. At Firebird Farm, our nutrient film technique system is located in one of our greenhouses. The first step to checking the system is ensuring that it has a full tank of water. You will add water to your system if needed. We do this by a hose. But if you're able to, having a off-gas tank or a filtration system attached to your tap water is ideal. Once your tank is full, you'll use your selected probe to measure your pH, electrical conductivity, and temperature. For this probe here, you'll turn it on and then take off the clear cap, which has a storage solution within it. Place probe in the bin you wish to test and take readings on probe to adjust your water quality. We use these two additives to control the pH within our system. You must add them very small amounts at a time, ensuring your system doesn't jump too much at once. To adjust the electrical conductivity, you will add your choice of nutrients to your system. We've been using MaxiGrow for the past three years on all of our leafy vegetables. this to a separate bucket of water, stirring continuously, ensuring that all the particles are completely dissolved before adding it to your system. Once it's completely dissolved, you can add your solution to your system. If adding more than one bucket of nutrients, I like to add one bucket per container, ensuring that we get a well-mixed system. After adding to your system and before rechecking your water quality, you let your system mix for 15 to 20 minutes or so to ensure that the ECMPH has changed throughout. If your readings are more on target with what you want, then you are all set and ready to move on to the next step. It is important to change your filters on your hydroponic system daily to ensure proper flow to all your plants. These are both physical mesh filters. Um, by twisting them off, we're able to remove them, spray them down. After your filters have been cleaned, you'll want to reconnect them, ensuring that your wet seals are on all objects of your filter components.
filters are back secured and in line with your system as well as sun shields back on. Once they're all lined up, you can turn your system back on. both filters are getting water and not leaking and you will then check all of your plant channels for flow. basically covers a general overview of a daily check in a hydroponic system.